goes further saying the word was with God and the word was God. He existed in the beginning with God. God verse three, God created everything through him and nothing was created except through him. The word gave life to everything that was created. <coughs> so everything we see has got a life. Everything that, that is in existence has got a life. Yes. And his life brought light to everyone. So we are going to talk about this light. His life brought light to everyone. Verse 6 says, the light shines in the darkness. And the darkness can never extinguish it. Let us open the same book. Let us go to chapter 8. <clears throat> Verse 12. John chapter 8, <clears throat> excuse me, verse 12. Jesus spoke to the people once more and said, I am the light of the world. Remember in, in, in chapter 1, he is the word of God. He, he is showing us that he is the light of the world. If you follow me, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness. Because you will have the light that leads to life. Amen. Let us read First John chapter 1. First John, as we go to the book of Revelation, that's where we get First John. Chapter 1. Verse 5, <clears throat> it says, this is the message we heard from Jesus and now declare to you, which message yet follows, God is light and there is no darkness in him at all. So we are lying if we say we have fellowship with God, but go on living in spiritual darkness. We are not participating, or you are, we are not practicing the truth, which means practicing the truth is walking in the light of God. Amen. Yes. So today we are going to look at the light, Jesus saying, I am the light of the world. <clears throat> and on another occasion, Jesus, when he was teaching in the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verse 14, he also showed us that we are the light of the world as well. Let us read that one. The great message, Sermon of Jesus Christ, chapter 5, verse 14. It says, you are the light of the world, like a city on a hilltop 
that cannot be hidden. In the dark, suppose an aeroplane is flying with light on. What we see in the dark is the light. We don't see the aeroplane. Even car, when it is at a distance, traveling, moving, we don't see the car. What we see is light because the car is traveling in the dark. When we get out now and look into the sky, what we see is light. We don't see the stars, but we see the light of the stars because they are in the dark. Jesus indicated unto us that in this world, there is darkness. So we are the light of the world. What the world should see in us is the light of God, not us. Amen. Because Jesus indicated that we are the light of the world. We didn't know that we are the light of the world, but he came from the Father to show us or to tell us that we are the light of the world. Hallelujah. Oh, this is good, I tell you. You and I, we are the light of the world. But how does this light come into us, into existence? This is what we are going to look into. How we can become that light is revealed in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse Five to eleven. As we enter into twenty twenty second, let your light shine. Let the people, let the world see the light, and not you. We must shine the light. People must see the light. Not us. Yes. But how do we make that light shine? Because Jesus has already given us the ability, or he has showed us that we have got the capacity. We are the light of the world, which means the world is in darkness. We are the light. How we get this light, we don't have a problem in reading the word of God, in understanding the word of God, in listening to the word of God being preached. We have got no problem. We can memorize the word of God. We can quote it in our speeches or our, our, our talking. But if we don't do something to that word, we caught, we preach, there is no light. Psalms 119 verse 103, 105. It says, your word is what? Is a lamp. To my feet. Yes. And the light to my path. Amen. Which means the word of God is the, is the lamp, is a lamp on its own. The word of God is a lamp. But how do we make this lamp shine? We need to switch on. We need to ignite the lamp to, to give us the light. How do we 
light the lamp so that this word will become a light unto your path. So that we will fulfill the declaration of Jesus Christ in Matthew 5, where he says, we are the light of the world. How do we light ourselves so that we can shine the light? This is the greatest challenge we are getting into 20, 20 seconds with. And we need to lighten up the lamps. We have gone through the, the summary of the, some of the topics of the word of God preached to us. But now what's left is that lamp to shine. Let us make it our meditation prayer. Lamp to shine. So that the world will not see me. Will see the light of the word. Let the light of the word. Hallelujah. Let this light of the word of God shine. That is the mystery of our godliness. Making the light of God shine in us. Mystery of our godliness. Isaiah chapter 60. He says, Arise and shine. For the light has come. Amen. Arise and Shine, for the light has come. Amen. In John Amen. chapter 12, Amen. verse 46. Amen. John chapter 12, verse 46, it says, it is Jesus. He says, I came as a light to shine in the dark world. And he has told us that we are the light in this dark world. But how do we become, how do we light up so that we can shine? Arise and shine, for the light has come. Jesus came as a light, so we should arise and shine. Praise God. We have got no problem in listening sermon. We can go on YouTube and listen to all sorts of sermons. We can hear people singing the word of God as sermon. We can converse in our daily conversation the word of God. But is it shining? Is the light, is that lamp, which is the word of God, lighting, giving us light? How do we make that? light shine in us because Jesus is the word and he is saying I came as a light the word that came as a light to shine into the dark world and he said to us we are the light of the world so I say arise and shine for the light has come 20 20 seconds let us soar like eagles, shining the light of the word. How do I light this word? I have read the Bible. I have listened to the Bible, to the preachers. I have quoted verses, but the light of the word is not shining. I must disappear. For the light to shine. The world must see the light only. Flood light. Not to see me. For I am not the light. But the light of God in me must shine. I came as a light in this dark world. Jesus said. And he said you are the light of the world. He was passing on the light. So I say, let us arise 
and shine. Sure. For the light is come. How do we light this lamp, which is the word of God? We light this light, the word of God, when we use this word in our daily conversation, in our decisions in life, when we use the word of God to direct our lives, to say, to answer people, to see things, to talk about it. When we allow this word to come and direct the way we speak to each other and the way we express, the attitudes we express using the word of God in expressing, we are lighting up that word. I tell you, you start to see the light. The world will start to see the light in you. People will say, you have changed. Even if they are used, it, they, they are used it to see you, they will say, no, you are no longer that person. You have changed. They are seeing the light. From there, you will know that you have lighten up the word. The word of God is now lighting. When we use this word in our decisions, in our attitudes, whatever we do, we are directed by the word of God. When we are directed by the word of God, it is only then when the light of God is shining in us and through us. If we don't allow the word of God to direct us, we are in darkness. And our confession that we are in fellowship with God is a lie. Because the word has to shine. And when it shines, people, the world will see there is light there. Amen. There is light there. You know, the book of Hebrews warned us when we read chapter 4, verse 2, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It says, this word was even heard by other people. It was preached to them, but it di they didn't benefit from it. Why? Because they did not mix it with faith, which means they did not use it in their daily lives. That's why it didn't benefit. It remained shut. We can, re we can continue years after years holding on to a lamp that is not shining, but it is a full lamp, the word of God. We can quote it, we can sing it, we can preach it, but without lighting, lighting it up, it won't, it won't be of any benefit to us. It has to light. Yes, it is to light, sense of God. In a few minutes, we are going to pray. As we enter into 20, 20 seconds. According to my watch here, it's saying it's nine minutes to. Probably it's ahead or it's behind. I'm not quite sure, but let's go by this one. We are going to pray. A prayer that says, God, I want your, light, your word to shine in me. Give me strength to make your word shine in me and through me. This word of God has to shine. When we implement it in our daily lives, when it starts to shine, that's when the evil spirits, they say, we you know he has got the light, he has got the light. It is the weight of God shining. Today, as we enter into this year, let that word start to shine. So that wherever we work, where we move, the evil spirits must cry. 
Yes, this is very possible. Because Jesus told us we are the light of the world. And to make this light shine, we must activate the word of God in us. We activate it by in using it for our decisions. Whatever we do, we use the word of God to give us direction. Then the word of God is lightened. Make the word of God you know. Light. Lighten up the word of God you know. Use it in your daily life. Let it direct the way you speak, the way you think, the way you see things, your perception. Let the word of God direct you. That is the light. Lighten up the word you have heard, you have preached, you have sung, you have seen, you have listened to. For you are the light of the world. I say shalom. Amen.